So low content publishing has been exploding recently. A lot of people are making videos on low content publishing and how it's a great way to start earning money online. And a lot of people are coming into low content publishing as well. And yes, it's true, it's a great way to start earning money. It's a great side hustle. But personally, in my opinion, being in the self-publishing industry for over six years, I do believe there is a better way to publish books than low content books. So in this video, I wanted to talk about that. So real quick, if you're new to the channel, my name is Sean and I've built a multiple six figure KDP business, which I eventually sold for $820,000. And now I'm building my second KDP account. Every single thing that I do, uh, the results that I have, I share it in this channel. I have a whole playlist on my own income reports called KDP income reports that so you guys can go and check it out. So if you want no BS publishing advice from someone who's actually doing it, then make sure to subscribe. So let's talk about why you should not publish low content books and what you should do instead. So to get started, you know, what is low content books? Well, recently KDP classified uh, low content books uh, as books that has minimal or no content on the interior pages. It's repetitive and designed to be filled in by the users. So these books are notebooks, planners, journals, and other similar works. So these books, it's extremely easy to make. You can make it in, you know, literally 30 minutes if you want to. And then you can go and spam Amazon with that. And because of that, it's super saturated. Uh, because of the low barrier of entry, you have the most competition. A lot of people are doing it. You know, literally everyone in the whole world can do it. And that's exactly why literally everyone in the whole world is doing it, right? Another thing is because Amazon KDP classified this as low content and they decided that they are not offering any free KDP ISBN. And because you don't get the ISBN, it's not going to be sold as books. It's going to be sold as stationary items, which I do believe it affects uh, sales slightly because of that. So instead of doing low content where everybody is flooding the low content market, you know, it's so easy that everybody can do it. And because everybody's doing it, it's very hard to stand out. I believe what you should do is medium content books or high content books. So you're moving away from the low content and you're focusing on books that has a little more content like medium content or high content. So an example of medium content book would be something like puzzle books, coloring books, activity books, where it's not just blank pages or line pages where the reader is filling out most of the page themselves. You know, now we got puzzles, now we've got coloring pages, activity stuff, right? The readers are still filling out the pages, but there's a lot more illustrations, a lot more designs and text involved with it. When it comes to high content books, these are just standard fiction or nonfiction books. So it's definitely not, you know, low content books where readers are filling out the pages because it's just a fiction or nonfiction book that they read. So why is medium content or high content better? Well, that's because you have less chance of duplicate content, which in my opinion, it's huge and nobody really talks about it. But a lot of people who do low content, they lose their account because they get accused of duplicate content. And that's the thing with low content. If you're pumping out a bunch of the same books and, you know, a bunch of the same books within your own portfolio, as well as a bunch of the same books with your competition, then inevitably, one day KDP will look at your books and they're like, hey, this book is super similar to your other book or even the same content. They might also find the same content in your competition. And a lot of times people lose your account because it's duplicate content, right? So there's less chance of that happening with medium content and high content now because we have a unique content within the pages to differentiate our books to our competitors, okay? Now, because of this, the barrier of entry is higher because you actually have to add content in your book. So obviously it's harder to do. And because of that, not a lot of people are willing to do it, which means you'll have lower competition if you do decide to do it. And if you are willing to put in the work, okay. And surprisingly, medium content, high content, it's not that hard. Yes, it's harder than low content, but it's not that hard to produce. So when it comes to high content books, I have a ton of videos on high content. Uh, so you guys can go check out those videos. Uh, that I made previously. But in this video, I wanna talk about medium content books and specifically what kind of medium content books you should create. And personally, 
I think Medium Content Puzzle Books is a great place to start. The reason why is because there are tools that will help you generate these puzzles almost instantly. Every single puzzle that is generated is unique, so you're not going to encounter any duplicate content issues. As well as it is, once again, medium content, so you'll have less competition. You can sell your book at a higher price, and you know, once again, it's super easy to make. So a lot of benefits to medium content. And specifically, when it comes to puzzle books, I recommend you make something like word search books, cryptogram, sudoku, word scramble, and you can even combine those and create a puzzle book that you know has all of those. So let me show you some examples of puzzle books that are doing really well. So this one is a 2023 crossword puzzle books for adults with solution. So a lot of people complain that puzzle books are saturated and this and that. Well, just by adding 2023 uh, in the title, it's a whole new keyword that you can go and target. And it literally has one review and it's selling at 2,690 in books. And this is independently published, which means that this person is most likely someone like you or me, who's a independent publisher, just publishing books uh, on our own. Okay. So you can see that, you know, yes, crossword puzzle sells very well. Same as this one, word scramble uh, puzzle books for adults. Okay. It has 122 reviews and it is selling at 98,000 in bookstores. So uh, it's not as crazy as the first book, but it's still doing, you know, three to $6 every single day. And it's super easy to make. So let's say, you know, for the month, it's doing about a hundred dollars a month. If you can make a bunch of these books, each one making 50 to a hundred dollars a month, that definitely will add up. Okay. This book right here, going back to the crossword puzzle book, it's literally making 156 to $214 every single day with one review. And this book right here, uh, 1200 Sudoku puzzle book for adults. Okay. Uh, it is once again, a little slower than the crossword puzzle book, but it is doing nine to $11 a day. So around $300 a month at only 18 reviews. And you can always stock your competition by looking inside here and see how they're making their puzzles. And it's actually very, very simple. There's no extra illustrations. There's no decorations in terms of designs. It's just one Sudoku after another put together. And they just did that 1200 times, right? They have 1200 Sudoku, which might take a while for you to generate, but it's literally a click of a button to generate these Sudoku, right? So you just have to do that 1200 times, which might take you, I don't know, a couple hours, but it's not that hard to do so. Same as this one over here, word scramble puzzle book. Okay. If you look inside, it's literally just a list of word scrambles, uh, separated by categories. So this one's animals, this one is astronomy and on and on and on. Okay. Let's look at this crossword puzzle book. So if you look inside, so this one has a little bit of decoration around, as you can see with this, uh, gold ornament here. Well, you can get a design like this from Creative Fabrica. You can even have a designer just add that. Super cheap. Just buy the rights to this design. One-time payment. You will have the commercial rights and you can add it in all your books. It's not like every single page has different designs, right? You just buy this element, this design once, add it to the page, and you can do that for every single one of your page. So uh, very, very easy to do that. And once again, generating these crossword puzzles is very quick as well. So let me show you how to actually generate those puzzles. There are a bunch of tools that you can use to generate puzzles, but in my opinion, Bookbolt is one of the best tools out there to, to make puzzle books because it's very affordable compared to other tools, as well as you can make a bunch of different puzzles from this one software. Okay. So Bookbolt offers the research features as well. You can go and research different keywords, different niches. But the one we want to use is under the create and it's the Bookbolt studio right here. So first, what you want to do is to create a project, pick on the project type. So let's do paperback cover and interior. I'll name this project, uh, YouTube, just for YouTube example, for the trim size with puzzle books, typically you want it big. Okay. So 8.5 by 11 is a popular trim size that people use. You can also look at your competition right on the Amazon page. It'll show the product detail and what the size that they're using. And you can kind of assume that's the size that you should use for your book if all your competitors are using that size. But typically with uh, puzzle books, 8.5 by 11 
is a popular size, okay? And we'll keep this at black and white interior. For the page count, let's do 100 as an example. Create the project. And you can create your cover file right from here, but in this video, I wanna show you how to create the puzzle interior. So from Bookboat, you have a ton of elements you can add into the book text elements as well as images if you want to upload images or use from pixabay unsplash uh, many different you know free stock image sites out there but this is where it gets cool so you can combine if you click on this interior template library here you can go and create various low content interiors you can literally just add any of this and combine it within one book but let's say uh, we wanna make some word scramble, just like the example that I just showed you, right? So you can pick whether you want to put this uh, puzzle in just one page or the entire book, okay? Uh, or you can just put like five pages. So let's just do five pages here. And then you can select the margins, fonts, uh, many, many different settings here. And then you will have to upload the CSV file. So a CSV file would look something like this. Uh, you would have to add uh, the words, add one space in between. Now, BookBowl will give you tutorials and examples on how to do it, but basically you just wanna compile uh, the words with one extra space to indicate that this should start on a new puzzle, okay? So get the words in a CSV file, upload the CSV file on here on BookBolt, and uh, you can add solution after the puzzle pages, okay? And you can even select uh, other options if you want to and just like that we have the word scramble page created so uh, as you can see the words are all scrambled up and then people have to solve that right here so we have that page i'm going to zoom in so you guys can see a little better uh, but we have the page created okay so let's say that for the other page we want to try out a different puzzle so we're going to go back here and now it's even easier okay so as an example let's do sudoku so we're going to pick three pages that'll be a sudoku page you can select you know from very easy to hard so let's do normal here you can select the size as well okay and puzzles per page so let's do four puzzles per page add solution after the puzzle pages go and generate that and bam just like that we have four sudoku puzzles here obviously you can edit uh, from here so if you want to add different text different images on it, then you can go and do that. But uh, just like that, you have four Sudoku, four more here, and another four here. And, and these are all unique puzzles that is original to you, okay? So let me give you one more example here on how easy this is. All you have to do is go back to the template and let's say we wanna create some uh, circular maze here. So same thing as always, just click on the pages. Uh, that you want to create this for uh, look at the setting and uh, pick you know what setting you want to do so let's do like 20 cells here submit and just like that we have a couple of unique uh, mazes that we can use in our books okay so that is how you use book bolt to create puzzle books and obviously you want to customize this even more you don't want to just paste a maze you want to you know preferably make it better and add some decorations with different designs add some text maybe look at your competition and look inside the book see what they're doing and see if you can model that into your book but in terms of creating the puzzles it's so easy with book bolt you can do it straight from the tool you can combine it and uh, this whole book bolt studio uh, makes it very very easy so if you guys want to check out book bolt i'll leave a link below this video now there's two different plans there's a newbie plan and the pro plan and i do recommend getting the pro plan just because that is uh, where the puzzle creation software is included so you need the pro plan to create those puzzles uh, it is definitely cheaper with the yearly plan but you can also get it on a monthly subscription as well so hope you enjoyed the video i do recommend moving towards medium content and high content where the barrier of entry is a little higher so that you will have less competition and often that means that you will be making more money uh, that's what i recommend when it comes to moving forward with publishing now i do have a complete publishing course if you guys want to check it out the link is below this video it teaches everything you need to know to go from absolute beginner in publishing to an experienced and advanced publisher many of our students are killing it and i'm excited to see that obviously you don't have to get the course to start publishing but if you guys do want to check it out then the link is in the description 
So before you go, I also want to invite you to join the 100% free uh, Facebook group Mastermind where you can join and network with other people, ask any questions as well as just by joining, you're gonna get a free bonus, which is how to generate lasting income on Amazon KDP through what I coined as book stacking. So this is a case study on exactly how I went from zero to over $35,000 a month every single month for my own publishing business. So the link to that is also in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like to let me know. And if you have any comments, uh, I typically respond to comments the first couple hours once the video is posted. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will be reading and most likely will be replying. Subscribe if you haven't yet and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.